top of the morning check out this absolutely stunning what looks like a honda xr 100 this is a full bbr 120 kitted bike i'll give you a quick demonstration on it and uh it is bristling with trickery from top to back and the best part about it is it looks like a, a stock bike but it's it's got all the best components and accessories you could possibly put on an xr 100 it's got a 120 big bore kit. The suspension has been done and everything else. But before I tell you about it, let me give you a quick riding demonstration. It's tuned to perfection by the wind. Starts first kick every time and it sounds awesome. That's what it's really supposed to be about is fun and i think if there was a poster child for the best most fun dirt and play bike ever made it would be the xr100 it's also the weapon of choice by a lot of pro riders as a training device a lot of the flat trackers would have these bikes set up for um in flat track tires for practicing their wares and a lot of pro riders like chris canning uh mario testa they use these as as play bikes because they're apt and, and practice bikes because they're absolutely bulletproof indestructible um, I'm gonna tell you what we did to the engine in a minute but before we get into that let's start with suspension probably a weak point on the stock XR100 everything's been done on this it has the full BBR fork kit on there with the heavy-duty springs and seals and uh, you can see the fork lowers have been painted uh, new fork gaiters and fork uh, boots and sliders uh, in the heavy-duty fork coil so the forks have been completely beefed up the original wheel you can see is like brand new it's got a brand new dunlop geomax mx 53 f front tire and tube you can see the chrome is beautiful on it it's got a brand new front fender that's the uh, original honda front number plate on there it's like brand new and these are the original honda uh hand guards it has been upgraded with the renthal bars which are a huge upgrade over the stock steel these are the 971 renthals with the crossbar pad um the original factory levers are like brand new it's got new grips and a new Renthal crossbar pad. The original factory shrouds and graphics are in mint shape, just been upgraded with the BBR Motorsport sticker there. You can see it's got a, a tall seat with the tall seat foam, heavy duty seat foam. It's, it's literally about three inches taller than stock, which makes it much better for a, a taller rider. And for a shorter rider, it's a lot more padding. It's a gripper seat too by a company named Gut, so you won't slide off when you're riding wheelies. The rear fender's brand new. Uh, the side panels are brand new. You can see the Rear tire is brand new. It's a Dunlop GMX mat matching GMX, uh, GMX tire to the front. It's an MX53 with a brand new tube on it. You can see it's got a new gold chain on it. Um, everything's been gone through on the rear end. This bike was taken right down to the frame. The engine was dismantled. I probably should have off, started off by saying that. It was taken right down to the frame. Uh, the engine was removed. The forks were taken off. The swing arm came off. It's got all new linkage bearings for, the, for the, the shock linkage and swing arm bearing, so everything's super tight, and the shock's been rebuilt. If you can zoom in on this side for me, Jordan, you can see the BBR shock spring right there, the HKR1005, that's a heavy duty shock spring, um, and that's all, all new shock spring, and uh, the fork, new fork springs, all new bearings in the swing arm, brand new steering head bearings in it also, so all the bearings in the bike are new, the, as you can see, the frame and the swing arm were repainted, and the bike's in brand new condition. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, coming around to this side over here, well, actually, before we do that, it also has the BBR. This is a 200, and a lot of expensive parts on here. It's a $230 BBR frame cradle. One of the weak links on the XR100 is the, the engine is part of the stressed uh, points. So the, the, this cradle takes all the stress off the frame and also protects your engine cases in, in the case of. Uh, 
coming up short on a jump or something like that. Um, a stock XR100, I'm 220 pounds with all this gear on and boots and stuff, I'm probably 235. And this thing coming uphill will wheelie second, third, fourth gear. You're not going to do that on a stock XR100. I'll go into the motor uh, upgrades in a minute. But you can see it has the gold chain, the original chain guide and protector, a mint chain. This was a mint original bike that was taken right down to the frame and professionally rebuilt and modified and upgraded. Um, now we're going to get into the good stuff, the engine. If you look closely, this is an oversized BBR aluminum cylinder with a steel liner. This cylinder, it runs a lot cooler than the factory cylinder. It also has a high compression piston. There's 200 PSI of compression. We did the compression test after the engine was built. 200 PSI of engine compression. It's a forged piston. Uh, so you get new rings, new piston, new base gasket, new head gasket, new circlips. And the uh, big bore BBR kit comes with a cam that gives you a higher lift. It comes with heavy duty valve springs and new rocker arms. So the whole top end is new. The uh, clutch is new. The bottom end is it was in mint condition, low hour bike. Um, a new clutch was installed to, ha to handle the 25% in increase in horsepower and torque. And everything about this, this upgrade is more heavy duty than the factory stuff, which is bulletproof to begin with, but it will run cooler with the oversized cylinder fins on it. And it, it is 25% more horsepower. So. The has a new uni air filter in it. It has oversized main jet and pile jets to give more fuel to the bigger bore cylinder. And if you take a look, you see it's got a brand new shifter on there. Like you see the BBR frame cradle. The engine cases have been, or covers have been repainted. The frame's been repainted. And if you go around the other side, you'll see it has a, you can actually see from right here too. It's a FMF Power Core 4 full FMF exhaust system with the oversized stainless steel header, um, which thankfully retains the heat shield on it so you won't burn your leg if you fall down um, but that's a full header system from FMF so everything's been done that you'd want to do to a bike like this is completely done that's the good news the bad news is, is it's expensive and time-consuming to do a build like this so there's a uh, over four thousand dollars has been invested in this bike between parts and labor but um, the end result is it's probably the most fun play bike or uh, woods bike you could ever possibly imagine having and, and uh, it's the kind of bike you get on and ride all day it's super comfortable it's not stressful it's it's not too loud but it's got a nice exhaust note to it and it, it's just a, a lot of fun to ride one of the things I wanted to mention also is Honda is now making these in Taiwan their new their new CRFs the new X, XR version uh, the new modern version of this is made in Taiwan I don't believe the, the quality of the of the materials and the components is as good as these. And I know a lot of pro riders uh, that have ridden hundreds of hours on the stock engines, and these things are just absolutely bulletproof. It's probably one of the most reliable motorcycles ever made. So if you're looking for a fun bike loaded with upgrades that's like brand new with a brand new engine, brakes, piston, suspension, and it's loaded with upgrades, that's also an iconic classic. Well, your ship just came in. This thing's tuned to the nines, and it's a, I had a choice of 10 motorcycles to ride this morning. I've got four other Hondas and a bunch of other bikes I have to do videos of, and I picked this one first because I knew it was gonna be the most fun bike to ride today, and that's really what it's all about. I'm 58 years old, my inner child is live and, and well, and I've, we've done a bunch of Honda 100s and 80s, and I've never been able to wheelie all the way up the driveway, second, third, fourth gear, because this motor's got plenty of torque. I was covering my rear brake and just 12 o'clock in it right up the, right up the hill. Um, an absolute joy to ride, and it feels a lot more planted with the heavy-duty suspension, the tall seat, the tall bars, all the quality components. Um, it's an absolute dime piece. So, bid high and bid often. You're not, you're not gonna. There's not a nicer XR100 or CR100 available on the internet today. This one's a dime piece. Thanks for watching. First kick every time. God bless America. God bless Secure Honda for making such kick-ass bikes.